Okay, today I wanted to go over the visual inspection on the cooling system. And I'm gonna start right here in front with the part right here, which is my thermostat housing. So as I look at my thermostat housing right here, I can see I have two hoses going to it. The thermostat is mounted on the inside where we can see the gasket material right here to the cylinder head. And I have my coolant temperature sensor right here, which is on the bypass side of the uh, thermostat housing. So in other words, the thermostat only controls fluid going through this hose. It does not restrict fluid coming through this hose. So as I trace from this hose over, I'm gonna come into my radiator, which if I look around, I can see the radiator right here, and I can see the fins of the radiator. And as I come across, it's gonna come over to my radiator cap. And if I look down here, I can see my lower radiator hose. So if I check the coolant level on this, which you can see it's wet, so I already did, and we can see that it's nice and full. Now from the coolant level, being full here, I'd also want to check my overflow tank, because this system uses an overflow tank, so I would trace this hose over to this bottle, and this is my overflow bottle. Now it's kind of hard to tell whether it's full or not, so what I would do is I would take the cap off, I would put the flashlight on the top, and shake a little bit, and now I can clearly see that I'm at the full level. So as I come back to the engine, I'm gonna come back to my water pump. So my lower hose returns coolant back to the water pump. My water pump is spun by the serpentine belt. If I look across the serpentine belt and look in a little bit, I can see the fan, the fan clutch, and the pulley for the fan. So this has a mechanical fan here, but on this side, it actually has an electric fan. So with having the electric fan that the computer can control and then the mechanical fan that's controlled by a fan clutch. On the other side of my water pump, I also have a return hose right here coming from my heater. So coolant will be forced out here, the hot coolant will come through this hose, my heater hose, to my heater control valve. My heater control valve is controlled by vacuum. So this vacuum starts coming from the engine goes through the control in the dash and comes back here and we can see these lines right here. So this is where the vacuum comes from the engine and this is where the vacuum is coming back after it's switched to the heater control valve, which in turn will move the little lever right here. So as coolant comes in here, it can either be returned right back to my water pump or it can be directed to go through my heater core in order to keep the passenger compartment warm. So this concludes our visual inspection of the cooling system. We've identified all the major components. We've also seen that they're all in pretty good shape. We do see a little bit of corrosion around where the hose, where a little bit of coolant is wicked out past this hose clamp. So we might wanna tighten that just a little bit. But other than that, everything looked really good. Our cooling system was full, so we obviously don't have a large leak. And so is my overflow bottle. So I hope this helped you understand the location and function of the various cooling system components.